Welcome to a short video on some useful daily activities you can do in Old School RuneScape for some easy profits and productivity each time you log in. Uh, these are suitable for both main and arm man accounts and offer different benefits. In terms of this video, I'm defining dailies as activities that you can do once a day only and can do at any point during the day. I will give a mention at the end to activities that might be considered dailies but be, can be done uh, multiple times throughout the day so aren't dailies in this context. I may do a separate video discussing those. Uh, a lot of the ones I show come from achievement diary rewards here so yes that shows you that they are definitely worth doing on your account at the earliest possible stage. Up first is buying battle staffs from Zaf in Varok at a reduced price. Every day you'll be able to buy 15, 30, 60 or 120 battle staffs in one go at a cheaper price of 7,000 GP each. Uh, the amount does depend on which tier of Dara you've done and scales up from easy to elite. Uh, you can then sell these battle staffs on the GE straight away for an instant turnover of between 17 and 132k at current prices depending on exactly how many you bought and what tier of Dara you've done. Uh, if you're an iron you can craft these into like air battle staffs and then alk them for profit. For example, if you did this every day for a month, you would passively make around 3.9 mil with the Elite Diary complete. Next up is Herb Boxes from Nightmare Zone, the minigame outside you kneel. They contain 15 herbs, including some high value ones, and you can purchase 15 per day for 9,500 points each. Uh, the average Herb Box is also currently worth around 9,500 GP on average, meaning every day you can make about 143k from buying these boxes and then selling the herbs on the Grand Exchange. In terms of doing Nightmare Zone, you might have loads of points saved up from training your account, or you can simply do one or two high point runs per week to top them up. And yes, I'll link a separate guide to that in the description. If you bought 15 herb boxes per day for a month, you would passively make around 4.2 mil GP. Now we have a small unlock from the Corendon Keyboss Achievement Diary, which is being able to claim free dynamite from Theris in Lovakenji. You can get there by teleporting to Xerix Inferno using the Talisman and making the short journey north. Uh, this scales from 20 with the Medium Diary, 40 with the Hard Diary, and all the way up to 80 with the Elite Diary. Now, dynamite isn't worth a huge amount at the moment, but it is still a potential boost of 30k GP per day. Uh, this is also great for Iron Men who are looking to do the Blast Mining minigame and saves them from having to collect their own dynamite or buy it from the shop. Buying 80 dynamite a day for a month would passively net you about 880k. This next one is skill related and a very good way to passively level your prayer. Completing tiers of the Mauritania Achievement Diary unlock the ability to claim free bone meal and slime from Robin in Port Phasmatis in exchange for just the bones. So you'll bring 13 bones each time and he will give you the materials needed to use them at the Ectophontus for prayer XP and uh, tokens without having to go through that process of grinding the bones and collecting the slime yourself. Uh, it scales from 13 to 26 to 39 for the medium, hard and elite diary respectively. For example, with the Elite Diary and Dragon Bones, you can exchange 39 per day and use them on the altar for about 11.2k prayer XP, meaning if you do this every day for a month, you'll gain about 336,000 prayer XP. The final daily is Buckets of Sand from Bert in Yanil. Once you've done the Hand in the Sand quest, you can claim 84 free buckets of sand every day if you visit Bert in his house next to the sand bit and player-owned house portal. If you've done the Ardi Elite Diary, this is automatic and the sand will be delivered to your bank as soon as you log in on a new day. This is great for Iron Men looking to bank some crafting levels too, and yes, those supplies which are normally quite uh, tedious to get. As I said, this one is mainly for Iron Man, but collecting 84 buckets will passively bank 2,520 buckets of sand. If you do sell the buckets, it will net you about 78k GP profit in a month. Now, for each of the methods discussed, you can actually use a RuneLite plugin to remind you if you've done them for the day or not. It is called Daily Task Indicator, and you can enable or disable certain dailies with it. I'm just going to quickly mention some repeatable daily activities quickly. Uh, first up, bird house runs, which you could do as soon as you log in and as soon as you log out, for example. Had the done on Fossil Island and gain you XP in the form of hunter and crafting, as well as profit and supplies in the form of bird nests, which can contain seeds, rings, bird eggs, or clue scrolls even. Uh, the doable every 50 minutes, so you can do as many as you want throughout the day. On this account, I've got all the way from 75 to 95 hunter, uh, purely through bird houses, and yes, made quite a bit of money from this too. Next is the farming skill in general. There are different types of runs that can be done throughout the day, uh, though the main ones are herb runs and seaweed runs. Herb runs are very profitable for main accounts and of course good for irons in terms of supplies. Uh, seaweed runs for these same reasons as well as a decent pet chance, so might be worth doing. They're on Fossil Island, so you could even combine them with a birdhouse run. And uh, farming contracts in the farming guild are also good for GP and seeds on an iron. I may do another video going into much more detail on these repeatable dailies. Overall, I've laid out five things you can probably do in less than 10 minutes each time you log on for some easy profit or banking of supplies. I don't promote daily scape by any means, but I think these ones are good and give achievement diaries more meaning too. And just let me know if there's any other dailies you love doing that I missed. Thank you for watching the video as usual, and I will see you in the next one.